welcome to my channel. As you can see, I live in a van, so this art studio vlog is gonna be a little bit unconventional because this is where I make my art. This is the kitchen, the kitchen cabinets, that door is the shower and the toilet and that's where I sleep. The whole van is actually inspired by a beach, ocean, the culture that comes with that. And this kitchen countertop is actually inspired by the old school surfboards. But more details on all of that in my van tour, which is gonna be in the next couple of weeks when everything is finished. Behind this board, there is actually the storage of all my art supplies. It's um, papers, it's the fabric, it's the paint, it's the printing paper, it's everything there. This box uh, contains all the paints that I make. Um, I make it with ocean water and plants. Um, the first one here that is uh, indigo. Most of my paintings have indigo. And this one, let's see, it's uh, orient seed. That's a very bright, it's like the tangerine color. And uh, this one is avocado very pretty it's if you want to have the color of the pink skies you need that avocado tint I have clove that I put in my inks so they um, maintain a little bit longer and this is hibiscus to do some arrangements. Paint on the left, brushes on the right. This little box contains some golden paint. I have two tints um, and silver. It's actually, it looks like oil paint, but it's water-based, so less toxic. Oh, and an old film roll. Who knew? <laughs> Time to develop. For every painting, I really go into the zone. I put on some, what's the name in English? Incense? <laughs> uh, and uh, I kick off my shoes, I put on some relaxing music, and then I start. But before I let you in to see my art, I'll take you to the place that gives me inspiration the most. Come on. Thank you. 
I usually sit there for a while and just take it all in. I love to look at the details, like the pattern in the sky is always different, the drawings that the wind makes in the sand, how the ocean comes in. All these things are different every day, it's so lovely. It's so important to just slow down and see these things instead of walking through nature and thinking about the things you have to do that day and you're not present. So I try to sit down, slow down and take it all in and really look to my surroundings. Those little details inspire me to make structure in my paintings for patterns, for all these little things. This place by the, the pole is the spot where I usually go and get my ocean water because when the water is low there's still like a very deep point where I can just easily fill in my bottle without getting too much sand in it. Now time to reveal what I actually do. This is a commission I'm working on. Um, someone sent me a picture. This is an analog picture that goes on top of it. So I start by making the paint and then just using the colors that I think would go very lovely underneath the picture because the colors I use will all come from the paint. The picture that I print on top of that is only black and white ink. And this painting I called Noah. Uh, I just revealed it on social media. It's my newest creation. Um, so in this painting I used indigo, onion skin, chamomile and turmeric. I reveal um, other pieces that I made. This one is also an analog picture put on top of um, the painting. This one is called June, that was the very first one I made. This picture is alias. I call it pictures. It's actually paintographs or something. Oh, you were not supposed to see this one. Oh, okay, and this one is Anais. And that one, that's Noah you saw already. Time to finish off Noah. Oh, that sounded like murder. <laughs> Time to finish Noah by putting my autograph on it. My artwork is available on my website. Um, both the originals as prints are for sale. It's all limited edition. There's only, of course, one fabric and then limited edition in print sizes. Thank you all for watching till the end and I hope I inspired you to make an art studio in the smallest space. <laughs>